Hello and welcome. A new case in normal distribution. The data available is in a factory, the number of workers are 10,000. Their mean daily wage is rupees 750 and standard deviation of daily wage is rupees 50. Prove that or show that 95% of the workers earn more than rupees 668 daily. Now, the statement is 95% of the workers earn more than 668 daily. We know that total is always 100%. So, the another meaning of the same statement can be 5% workers earn rupees 668 or less. Because then only remaining 95% can earn more than 668. If 668 is taken as cut off, exact 668, less than 668 and greater than 668. That will cover the total 100%. So, 668 should be taken as remark, uh, landmark. Now, let us see. We are going to calculate value of X on the basis of these two probabilities because these two can be taken as probabilities so first let us draw the sketch and present the whole data under the normal curve x is exactly equal to mean that is 750 95% workers on more than 668 the percentage is greater than 50 and the term more or more than so and so these two indicates that this value falls in the left hand side region there only something or rather 95 percent is more than something is possible similarly the percentage less than 50% and the term less. These two also indicate that the value falls in the left hand side region. So, we are considering everything for this type of segmentation of the entire normal curve 0.5% means 0 0.05 45% means 0.45 and 0.5 means uh, rather 50% means 0.5 to prove this the value of x here must be 668 or approximately 668 so we are going to find out the x for this particular point as we know that the area between Z0 and Z at this place is 0.45. Now, if we refer to the readily available table showing area under normal curve, the situation is like this. We have to find the value of Z on the basis of area it is something like this area 0.4495 the relevant Z is 1.64 area 0.4505 the relevant Z is 1.65 now 0.45 exactly falls between these two or say the difference is equal in both these cases only in this type of cases we should consider the mean values but when the differences of lower and upper areas are not the same we should consider the nearest area for this purpose so in this case we are going to take value of z 1.645 instead of taking 1.64 or 1.65 because these two are equidistant 
Okay. Now we are taking value of Z 1.645. Precisely, it must be negative 1.645 if we calculate this Z because the relevant values fall in the left hand side region and when the variable x takes value less than mean the z score is always negative now we know that value of z can be calculated through the formula of z score that is x minus mean upon standard deviation let us substitute the values minus 1.645 equals to x minus 750 upon 50. So, sorry, cross multiplication will be 50 into minus 1.645 equals to x minus 750. The result of these two is minus 82.25 equals to x minus 750. So, 750 minus 82.25 equals to x. Therefore, x comes to 667.75. Therefore, x approximately comes to 668. That means, value of x here comes to 668. So, it is proved that if x is 668 at this particular point, 5% workers have income less than 668 and remaining 9% have income greater than or more than 668. Hence, it is proved. That's it. Thank you.